Welcome to Fabulosity for You, and my name is Angie. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please click the subscribe button and then click on the notification bell so that when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. If this is not your first time on my channel, welcome back, my queens. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a car chat. Um, I had to drive into the city to get my COVID test and my flu shot. So I am all good, okay? And so I'm driving back home and I said, you know what? Let me talk to my queens. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk about uh, this topic um, that came up. So I got a, a, a message in my inbox and it was from a gentleman. And so we do have some kings out there watching. And so he sent a, uh, he inboxed me and he said, Angie, I'm a 47 year old man. Um, about three years ago, I got a divorce. My wife left me and our three-year-old daughter. And she left us. She left me because um, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I started my business. And then I became financially unstable. So she left me and my daughter for a rich man. He said, I loved her dearly. He said, but what I have learned, if I can do it all over again, I wouldn't be as, self, as selfish. Can you advise me how to move on? And so, I thought that'd be a good topic to talk about with my queens, okay? Sunny day out here today. So, um, the first thing that came to mind, and my first advice is this. Um, being on the same page with your partner is very, when it comes to finance, is very, very important. The number one, one of the top reasons people get divorced or break up is due to finance. So you want to make sure that um, you are always on the same page with your spouse regarding your finances. So you don't want to make a, a, a big purchase or do something that's going to cause a dramatic a change in your finances without discussing it with your partner. And so that was all the information the man left, but I would assume that since he said what he's learned is to be um, not be as selfish, I would assume that he meant that perhaps they were not on the same page on whether or not he should start a business. And so that's important. Um, if you're not on the same page with your finance, um, that that is a, a, a not a good sign of communications and there's a sign of selfishness. So he's, he's right on that and I'm glad that he has learned from your mistakes you know, um, so that when he moves forward, he can uh, not make the same mistakes. So my advice as far as moving on is, number one, you have to accept, and that's what the book I'm, that I, I wrote that's coming out next month, uh, moving forward, but you have to accept 
uh, your part in the demise of the marriage or relationship that has ended. And then you have to forgive your partner and forgive yourself. Forgiveness is the key. Once he forgives his ex-wife, then he can move on. Um, and sometimes, you know, he might feel guilty uh, that he put his family in a position where he was financially unstable. Now, I don't know whether she tried to work with him or he didn't give any details, but um, for her to have just left him and went and married somebody else, it sounds like uh, she was perhaps maybe seeing someone all along or already had her eye on someone. And so that's not good on her part. Um, you know, when you take vows, you know, you're going to go through the struggles and you're supposed to um, go through those struggles together. So I don't know um, if they tried to, she tried to work with him and he just was not accommodating to her. Um, so I, I can't really go into uh, specific details because I didn't get enough information. Um, but what I will say is um, that man needs to forgive himself and he needs to uh, forgive his ex-wife. And then he needs to also make sure that before he starts dating, he's in a better place financially um, I, 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 I dislike the fact when a man is out here dating but he's saying that he can't afford to take you out now I do understand that these days it costs a lot to take uh, to wine and dine a woman but I mean you can still go for coffee at Starbucks you can still go out for a cocktail and you know after two cocktails that's how a woman should be dating, should be uh, drinking on her date anyway. It's two cocktails, and then that, and then you can go ahead on your separate ways. I mean, you have to be very uh, creative out here um, in the dating world uh, as a man taking out a woman, and so. Um, but you still should be in a finan a, a, a financially um, in a good place when you start dating you don't want to have to have a woman finance you if you're a real man out here so you want to make sure that your finances are straight okay and you want to um, not be as selfish as you said you've learned that you're not going to be as selfish and um you just have to jump back out here, you know. Um, but when you get a when you get a divorce, there are steps you have to take. But I'm not gonna go into details of those steps because I've written a book, and I would suggest when I when the book comes out, uh, you purchase the book and 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 um, and and go and look, and you can then. Um, see the steps that you have to go through but one of them is for learn forgiveness is, is one of the steps and um, you know at the end of the day you know you have to move on sometimes you're not going to have the closures that you want with people so sometimes you just have to accept situations especially when you were the one at fault and the best thing to do is just to get back into the dating world once you are financially secure and then just make better judgments when it comes to your finances. And you just have to learn 
to uh, let go of the past. Because as I said before in, in one of my videos, when you break up with someone, it's like a, a, a funeral. And, um, I mean, not a funeral, a death. It's like a death. And you're mourning. You're mourning the loss of the relationship. So this man said he was divorced three years ago. And today he's still, um, and he kept saying that he really loved her dearly. Then he is still uh, very much in the past. And so when you get out here in the dating world, you have to stay present. You have to stay present and not live in the past. And so you can't look at this person, the, the new person you date, and feel like they're going to do the same thing that the old person has done. But if you're still living in the past and you're still talking about the past, then and it's been three years, then in my opinion, you he may need some financial, uh, fin, um, some counseling. Because if you're still talking about you loved your wife dearly and you 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 still cannot move forward, then I suggest to get some counseling. I suggest to for, for try to forgive your ex-spouse, forgive yourself and what part you played and get some counseling. And hopefully um, after that you should be able to move on. As I said, counseling makes uh, you a better man, a better woman, a better person. And so I'm always for counseling if you cannot move on from past relationships. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. And thank you for watching my channel.